Okay, so we're going to uh, shift now to talking about um, a couple of key discoveries that um, may not be something that uh, all of you are familiar with, but um, the fact is that there are numerous plants um, in nature that have been uh, revered for centuries as uh, plants that contain properties to improve the function of our mind. And uh, the modern science of this um, is uh, the study of what we call nootropics. I've had a real interest in uh, nootropics for uh, quite a few years and have conducted a number of clinical trials. I've conducted a clinical trial on uh, ginkgo and Parkinson's disease. Uh, I conducted a study on memory performance in adults with ADHD and ginkgo. Two clinical trials in children with uh, ADHD using ginkgo and American ginseng. And just recently, I just completed a clinical trial and I'm uh, writing up the um, publication for a study on, uh, it was 150 boys, uh, double-blind placebo-controlled trial looking at a, a natural substance from green tea called L-theanine. And um, so I've, I've maintained an interest in things that have an effect on uh, cognitive performance and uh, uh, memory performance and mood um, that are plant-based uh, medicinals. And there's two that I um, think have sort of come to the forefront as being perhaps the most exciting nootropics of the modern world because they fit our current lifestyle so well. And one is the, um, uh, the plant called Bacopa, or it's commonly called Brahmi. And uh, this is now um, what I would call evidence-based medicine in terms of something that can really improve uh, the brain function. Here's a clinical trial from last year. And uh, in elderly patients, um, these were patients that exhibited uh, increases in uh, anxiety and depression and had some diminishment in their cognitive performance. So they were pre, um, pre-senile pre patients. They were, or pre, it was a pre-dementia, uh, um, early, early cognitive decline. And in those patients, Bacopa um, showed an enhanced uh, word recall. Um, so their memory scores improved uh, compared to placebo. Their performance on the Stroop color word test uh, improved significantly. And I'll show you an example of a Stroop test in the next slide. But uh, it's basically a, um, a test that looks at the ability of the executive centers of the brain to take charge of cognition. And again, I'll explain a bit more about the Stroop test. Um, and these patients also showed improved depression scores, decreased anxiety scores, and even a decreased uh, resting heart rate over placebo. So again, it's double-blind placebo-controlled trial, uh, good evidence. This is uh, an example, this is one of the variations of the Stroop test. The way this works is you, you start by looking at the, the description and then you say what it is. So this is a red circle, this is a blue square, this is a yellow, uh, Rhombus, sorry. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm not very good at the Stroop test. That's why I think it's cool. <laughs> the idea is that your um, semantic uh, processing has to tell you what the words mean, and then the, um, your, your memory will recall what this shape is, and then another area of the brain knows the color, and those bits of information converge on the executive centers, and they have to process that and then help you, goes back to your verbal centers and you have to spit out what it is. So it's a real good uh, and a very simple test of executive function. And individuals perform um, either very poorly or very well, depending on how well their executive centers are in control. So we use this in ADHD research, for instance. It's, uh, it's a good measurement of executive function. If you have someone with a frontal brain injury, uh, they they almost can't do the Stroop test. It's so hard. It, it's really quite a complex feat for your brain to, to look at this and say, um, that's a red circle. So um, here's a good review of Bacopa. Whoops, sorry. It, uh, it basically, uh, it's not a, a, a really new review, but it's a, well, uh, it's a well-written review, and it would be good if you wanted to get a nice overview of uh, of Bacopa, it's Phytomedicine 2005. And um, 
talks about it in a very good light in terms of its ability to improve memory, um, to reduce anxiety, to, uh, to improve mood, and uh, to improve attentional performance. 